Well, I had the usual business of wanting to be a film star, and I, uh, it took me a long time to realise I was the wrong shape. <laughs> and uh, but I, I was always very fond of uh, poetry and elocution and all the rest of it. I spent my first Bob's spending money on an elocution lesson. It must have been awful. <laughs> but still, I enjoyed it. And uh, I never dreamed that I would ever do anything about uh, drama. I went into a mill when I was 14 and I enjoyed being in the mill and I would go back if I had to. At 19, Dorothy Hethcote worked in a Yorkshire mill. By the age of 24, she was a lecturer in educational drama in Newcastle. It was an adventurous appointment and a leap in the dark for both her and the university that employed her. I went along to do my first lesson <clears throat> and the headmaster had forgotten I was coming. And uh, so he, very quick, you know, quick thinker, turned round and all the naughty boys that were standing outside the school classroom doors, he called to him and said, this lady's come to teach you some drama. Well, they were all sizes. <laughs> and so I remember thinking, I've got to hold their attention. I, d I don't think I thought this consciously at all. And uh, I said, if you were captain of a ship, if you were all going to captain a ship, what qualities would you look for in choosing men? And the first lad said uh, they'd have to run fast <laughs> to obey orders. And really, this is the... I asked this question, really, all my life. Right on, let's pull in. Axwell Park, Bladen, County Durham a residential school now called a community home. This is her first meeting with these boys and nobody knows what's going to happen next. Good morning lads, now this is Mrs Heathcote who's going to do this play with you. These are a mixed group Mrs Heathcote. Oh yes. They're all interested in doing it and they all want to do it. So let's hope you have some fun with them. Thank you very much indeed. Right. Well, you know my name anyway, don't you? You're going to settle down. Can I first of all introduce these teachers to you? Yes, you yes. see there are eight yes. teachers sitting behind you. They're all teachers who are interested in teaching drama, and they've come along just to see how we get on today. I don't know whether you'd like to know their names or uh, whether you can introduce yourselves afterwards. That's probably the best thing to do. Uh, now, how long have we got? What time do we stop for dinner? Twelve, 12 o'clock. So we've got from twelve from now to twelve o'clock to do a play. What would you like to do? Some Well, come on then, let's have a few. A prison camp. Stone age. Stone age. When I meet a group for the first time, I don't go in with definite ideas of what's going to happen because I think I must use their ideas. And I want them to see their ideas coming into this marvellous action that they bring. So I try to go in working almost, sort of if you think of a gas cooker, I'm, I'm set at nothing. What are we going to do? Which do you fancy? Prisoner of War Camp. Prisoner of War Camp. Yeah. Let's try this then. <clears throat> You're going to have to be captured as prisoners, because oh, that's yes. what you want. Yeah. And for this, you will have to agree that I'm cleverer than you, because there's only one of me and there's 14 of you. So if you want to be in a prison camp, you'll have to let me take you there, right? Now, pick up your guns. Now, every man gets used to laying his gun down in a place where he knows he can put his hand on it. So find out how you pick your gun up and lay it down. Just go on. Now, just pick it up and get used to the feel. It matters. It's all there is between you and the Germans with their guns, isn't it, really? Yeah. Well, but the, have you got a bazooka? We haven't any bazookas. We have ordinary rifles. Yeah. Is that agreed? Yes. yes. Nobody start pulling rank and getting bigger guns. Is that agreed? Yes. Ordinary standard rifles have been issued for this job. Two or two pistols. OK, well, 202 or whatever they are. <laughs> the trick is to do something that A, arrests the attention of the people you're working with, focuses them as a group, and straight away tells them what's up 
What's happening? And so, usually I try to take a role in such a way that straight away they grasp the lot. House, you Britishers in there! Well, you fair! I know how many there are in! How no many? How no many then? The officer will stand up! Stand up! Stand up! So, you have 13 men and yourself in the house. We know we have counted them. Since they're not coming out. You will send out through this window. No. 13 guns plus yours. 14 British standard rifles. Come on. You are covered. You have no way of escaping. Out. No. We've got no. your children. We've got your children. We've got your children. We've got your children. 13 rifles plus your own. Thank you. We get my hands above your heads. It is your responsibility. Get your names on your Get their hands above their heads and their knives out. One question. Yes? Have you got a wife and kids? Yes. I have. Then we are equal. No, 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 You are my prisoners. Oh, no. An excellent no. Oh, no. Get out of your Stay inside. Come. Order them to stay inside. What you want to do? How many men have you got then? You and who's out of Shut up. You and your, you and your grandson. Get your men to shut up and listen. Quiet. What rank are you? Oh, I have some questions. Well, our business is my business as well. You will get your men out of this house, lined up in the street, ready for the wagons. Is no that chance. understood? No, no chance. No chance. It is an order, because if you do not, the place will be blown up shortly. I don't, give don't, don't. I give the orders. I give the orders. You stand the tension you talk to me. I shall remember you later. I won't water down drama. So I use the situations that authors use, the real tense situations of life. And if the teacher puts the tension there, the rest follows. How do you mean you won't water it down? I mean, is this what other teachers do? Well, rocks and trees, and fairies, and this, that, and the other, and wearing leotards. This has nothing to do with real drama. Drama is a real man in a mess. <laughs>